By now, you've probably already heard of Nano Banana, and if not, even better. But even if you have, where or what <laughs> platform are you actually using it in? Your choice can actually matter. No, yeah. I was skeptical at first, but the creativity is actually insane. Yeah. And today I'm showing you some fascinating things you can do with Nano Banana in one of my favorite all-in-one favorite tools design AI. Wow, now this one is incredible. So if you haven't seen these videos, make sure you also check these out as well, because these are gonna help guide you in order to use all of design's amazing features. And so very quickly, the first thing we'll take a look at is the pricing and how absolutely affordable it is. Monthly, we're looking at $8.99, but once you switch to annual for the beginner plan, it's only $7 a month. Creator is only $16 a month. And so now the first thing we wanna do is up at the very top, it's already featured as it is one of the newest features in Design AI. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is, like I said before, I'm not just gonna show you one, two, or even three. I'm gonna show you a ton of unique and creative things you can do with Nano Banana. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with something more simple. But as I show you more and more of these examples, they're gonna get a little bit more and more impressive in my opinion. So for this first one, it is quite simple. Let's see how easy and how quickly Nano Banana can restore a photo like this. So the first thing I'll do is come in here and click and just simply drop my photo right there. And now there it is. It's really gonna be this simple. Now, down here at the very bottom, all you wanna do is hit this button that says Chat Editor. Once this populates, on the left-hand side, we're gonna take a look at our options. We have Nano Banana, Sea Dream 4.0, Flux, and Chat GPT. Of course, we're using Nano Banana today, and the prompt we're using is as simple as this restore this photo. That's literally all I'm going to say. Select generate, and now just watch this magic happen. It does work relatively quickly. Up in the top right hand corner, you could see it's already at over 36, 41%. The cool thing about this though, is that once it populates up in the top right, you can see more and more actual options start to appear. Now look at that, there it is. There is that restored photo. I mean, there is the first one right there, black and white, kind of messed up, a lot of different scratches. And if you look closely, the people are definitely the same people. I mean, this is incredible. Now, again, this was done just with the most simplest sort of a prompt. You could take it to a whole new level by getting a lot more detail, changing the hair color, anything that you want. But just for simplicity purposes, look how good of a job this actually did. Okay, so now moving on, let's go ahead and start with the next thing. This next thing really is blowing my mind. When I first saw it, I really didn't think it was possible, but it really is. I'm gonna go ahead and take an image like this. Now, this is actually a screenshot from Apple Maps or Google Maps of South Beach, Miami. Now, watch this. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm actually now gonna go ahead and click and drop it right here into design. Once it populates, there it is, just like that. Now, up at the very top, we have some more tools for design. This is one reason why, again, I feel like this is such a great and impressive tool because you actually have your own editing canvas in here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is up at the very top left-hand corner, you could see we have a few different options to choose from. What I'm gonna go ahead and select is, I'm gonna go ahead and select this brush button like that. And now we have draw on a blank canvas or draw on the current canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and select current canvas. Now with my brush selected, I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Now you can kind of see it's a little bit small, but I'm going to draw this arrow right here in the middle of my map like that. Okay, there's my arrow. Okay, so now that my arrow is drawn, the next thing I need to do is let's go ahead and export this. Up in the top right hand corner, select that export button. So now since it's already downloaded, I removed this one here, but now I'm gonna bring the other one in where I do have my new arrow, okay? There we have it. Now with that in there, down here below at the bottom, select chat editor again. Now down here below, I'm gonna say this, show me a photo of what this arrow sees and is pointing to. Now it's kind of hard to see and hard to tell, but if I bring this image back in again like this, if I go ahead and click to expand it, we could take a look at that. It's actually pointing at South Beach in Miami. So with that being the case, let's see what this can finally come up with. And now look at that, up in the top right hand corner, look how amazing that is. I mean, that is exactly it. That's the thing, just like that. Okay, now very quickly, I'm gonna do it one more time. Select the brush one more time, draw on the current canvas. And now what I'll do is with my full brush like this, 
I am going to circle this portion right here, okay? And now I will also export this one. Okay, so now we have this one right here, the one I just circled, that portion of the street. We're gonna select the chat editor again. And now I'll say, show me a photo street view of what is inside this circle, just like that. Okay, up in the top right-hand corner, it is done. And look at that, there it is. It got it exactly right. That is the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, so now moving on, the next thing we're gonna do is again, very impressive as well. Now I'm gonna head over here into my prompts portal database. And since I'm in cinematic right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over to my scenery and architecture style. Now, what I'm gonna look for right now is really just a really cool looking exterior photo of a home. And so as I scroll down, I have a ton of these that I can actually choose from. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll download a few of these. There is one right there and now we're gonna go ahead and head back into design hey guys if you want the most amazing prompts databases click the links in the description okay so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this photo right here you could see it's populated there we have it now you'll notice that in the chat it's not populating if that ever happens to you just hit that X button and now you'll see when I hit chat editor now there it is the other thing you can actually do to bring some more creativity to it is at the very end of the prompt I could hit comma and say something like at nighttime at blue hour, at dusk, or at dawn, and it's gonna actually do it. Now my image in here, the prompt I'll say is this, remove everything in this image except for the house. Change the house and render it as a 3D isometric model. Now let's go ahead and select generate. And now there you have it. Look up here in the top right hand corner, that's it. That is pretty amazing, pretty impressive, very helpful as well, okay. Now while we're here, I wanna show you something very quickly since we are in design. Now as I scroll down, let's go back to my original images, okay, one of the first projects we did. Notice this in the bottom right hand corner where I went ahead and transformed this photo by restoring it. The cool thing about design is that if I come down and I select something like expression edit or face swap, enhance or upscale, I can do that with these people. Okay, now moving on, let's go ahead and bring in a new image. Let's see how good of a job this can actually do in giving me an awesome brand new YouTube thumbnail from scratch. Here is my image right here. There is the prompt I'm going to use. Make a YouTube thumbnail with dimensions 169 wide angle put the woman with the laptop at the center and I'll hit the comma and I'll say forward facing or I'll say looking into the camera okay replace the background with a matrix style code related background make a blue and pink gradient glow come around the laptop screen and then put the text banana at the center bottom in yellow text with a glowing let's say glowing outline let's see what this can do again only six credits go ahead and now select a generate i will be very impressed if it can get this right the first time around and wow look at that up here in the top right hand corner there it is i mean it didn't get it exactly right it's pretty impressive however the laptop actually has code on the laptop it's still a laptop but again that's probably user error my prompt could have been a little bit better. But again, for the most part, you could see how quickly and how good it did this. Now I could make it 10 times better if I would have just taken more time, maybe added some different examples for text. Because remember, I could select a completely different reference image. Now I went ahead and did it a second time around and now look at that. Now it does look a little bit better. I changed up the prompt a little bit. It still has the laptop and I actually did want it to have like that matrix code on the laptop. But now this time you can actually tell it is a laptop and she typing on it. Now it doesn't have the text banana because actually I forgot to add that part. But for the most part, I was more focused on the actual woman and laptop. So very good job there. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in another image. There it is right there. Very simply, here is the prompt I'm going to say. Now I will mention this is going to be perfect for coloring books. Now what I'll say is this, turn this image into a line drawing sketch. And there we have it. Look at that. Beautiful job. Now one thing that's cool about this is that even the shoe it has the shoe and woman in there it's perfect now it did add a window now the reason why I did that is because my aspect ratio originally down here below is 16.9 so the AI chose to fill in the gap but look at that that looks fantastic now watch what happens when I do this in reverse so now what I'll do is come over here into a brand kit let's open up one of my color palettes just like that I'm gonna go ahead and download this color palette come back over into design and now I'm gonna go ahead and re-click and drag and bring this image image back in here the one that I just got earlier there it is okay now I'll say use this color palette to color the character in this image 
And now there it is. Look at that. That is fantastic. Look how good of a job it did. Okay. There is the original. Now remember, let's get the original. That way we have all three at the same time. The original, I transformed her into a sketch, took that sketch and completely recolored her with that color palette, the whole entire thing with my exact color palette I just showed you. Okay, so now the next thing, here we go again. Let's bring in another image. Here is a man right here, chat editor, and bring in a second image by clicking and dragging it right here down below. And now what I'll say is replace what the man is wearing to everything in this image, shirt, shoes, glasses, and tie. Okay, looks like it's done. Look at that, up here at the very top, amazing job. And the cool thing about it is that this original image was more of a two, three aspect ratio. Since I chose six, nine, it automatically did more than one thing for me. It made it 16, nine. It made it wider and blended in with the original look. And look, same pose, outfit, completely different based on what I uploaded. Great job. Now, next thing I'll do is, again, let's start over, bring in a completely new image again. I'm gonna bring in an animated image right here, okay? There we have it, this girl and her dragon. And now, I'll paste in, create many poses of this girl and her pet dragon from this illustration. Create many poses of this girl and her pet dragon from this illustration. Again, let's make sure it's on 16.9. Now, while that's thinking, let's move on to the next thing. One of the things that really is impressing me, let's take just a regular image and completely convert it into a professional and editorial style ad. But before we do, let's take a look at what we just got. And now look at that, incredible. We go from one image to now we're gonna have four in storyboard form, same characters, dragon and this little girl, all in different environments and poses. Fantastic job. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Now I'm gonna bring in this image right there, okay? This is gonna be a pretty good one to create an ad, okay? With that image in here, chat editor one more time, I'm gonna change up my aspect ratio again to actually mimic what I already have in here. Let's go with a two, three. And now what I'll say down here below is change this image into an ad for Nike running shoes. And while that's thinking, we might as well do it again with an image that looks a little bit different. And now we'll try it with this this one as well. This one already has the Nike logo, but let's just see what happens. Now, again, on this one, I have 16.9 selected because I want to make this a wider version, okay? So let's see what happens. If we go back to the first one, look at this. Incredible. Wow. Now, there's my original image, and now look at what an amazing job it did here. It actually added the slogan bottom left of just do it, added that Nike logo in the top right-hand corner, and look, the original image has nothing Nike about it, but now in this new one, the Nike logo is on her shorts, Slogan bottom left, logo upper right. That's amazing. If I go now over to this one to where now I had it do one more thing, look at that. Wow, now this one is incredible because it actually made it a lot wider from my original 23, 16, 9 wide angle, the slogan, and it even added some shoes. This actually looks like it should belong. Since I like this one, I'm gonna go ahead and upscale it two times, download it as a JPEG, and upscale. Phenomenal job. Okay, now we're almost done, but I really wanna show you something that is also gonna be pretty impressive. Now, I'm gonna bring this image in here, brand new image, just like this. Now watch this, here is the original room. Check out what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna head over into just a random furniture store website, okay? Let's just click on the first thing that we see. Let's go with patio furniture right here and simply just select the first thing that we see. I'm gonna take a screenshot of something, okay? Let's go with this one, populate it. Okay, let's wait for the image to upload. Okay, amazing. I'll go ahead and take a quick screenshot of that. There we have it. Go over into design now and bring this image in Okay, and now let's say for an example, I'm looking for new furniture. Let's say, show me what this new piece of furniture will look like instead by replacing my current brown couch. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, my original image is that old leather. Let's see if it could actually do that. Remember, that is the image right here. Well, that's thinking, I'm gonna come in here and bring one more thing in to show you this, okay? Now, let's go and bring in one of my AI influencers. There she is right here. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is add a second image, okay? But this time, specifically, what I'm gonna bring in is gonna be more of like a silhouette wire trace specifically this image right here of this woman doing the yoga pose, okay? Click and drag and bring this one in. Remove everything else. And now the prompt I'll use is make this woman pose like this sketch, generate. While that's thinking, let's go back 
and see what happened with, look at that, wow, it did it. Remember my couch? There it is, the new couch, it's in there. Now, just to compare, there it is right there. We'll go back and forth. And yeah, that's amazing. Great job on this one. Let's go back to our other one. And now look, it put her in that brand new pose. Let's bring in this other image to compare to make sure. Okay, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty close to the original. You can see on the left-hand side. The only thing that's different about it is it's less of a profile view, but for the most part, it even added that yoga mat pretty good job. And my character is definitely the same one. Okay. Now what we'll do is I have a brand new image in here of some just random ingredients. Watch this. The prompt I'm going to use quite simple. Show me a completed meal I can make with these ingredients. Now, after it gives us what we can make with this, I'll reverse it. And now watch what we can do. In fact, while this is thinking, I'm going to go ahead and go into a second chat and actually bring in the other image. That way we can have both going at the same time. Okay. Now I'll have this image right here. Let's actually do the same thing, but this time we're going to actually do it in reverse. Show me all the ingredients used to make this. Go with 69 again, and now generate this one. Now, while that one wraps it up, let's go back over here and look at our final meal. Remember, there is the original, and look, if I use all these ingredients, that is what I can get made. Pretty good job. Now, again, a little bit less complex because this is pretty easy to tell that this is gonna be a piece of salmon, but if I hover over it, you could see it actually combined the other ingredients to make oatmeal, it cooked the egg, it made a salad, and then it crushed some almonds on top of the salmon. Pretty impressive. Let's go back to the other one where we did this in reverse. Remember, there's my crepe. And now look, there are all the ingredients used to make this final recipe. Fantastic job. So there you have it. There are a few things that you can do using Nano Banana in Design AI. And now remember, if you wanna try Design AI for yourself, check the links in the description. I highly recommend testing it out. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and many.